Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. Electronic parts get smaller and smaller and people in developed countries get older and older. In this video I will show you five tools to overcome these problems, at least in the electronics lab. Tool number one to solve the problem became necessary when I became 50. Then I was no more able to see small parts. So, like most of the persons in this age, I started with reading glasses. In the lab, I used higher magnification factors than I needed for reading. Later, I bought bifocal lenses with a high magnification on the lower part and a smaller magnification factor on the upper part. So, I see smaller electronic parts and still can read my screens without being too close to them. But sometimes you need more magnification. This is why we come to tool number two. Tool number two is a magnifying glass which can be mounted on your head. It comes with several lenses with different magnifications and even includes a light source. The advantage of this device is that you can tilt it easily if you do not need the magnification. Another advantage, you have magnification for both eyes and therefore see three-dimensional. This is particularly important for soldering work as we will see later. Now we come to the magnification factor. It is very important but not as you might think. For normal electronics work, we need only small magnification factors. Usually, with increasing magnification, the distance from the lens to the object gets smaller and the area of sharp view gets shorter. This is not very comfortable for normal work. And this is why I usually use the magnification factor of 1.8. Only if I have to read very small prints, I use a higher magnification. The smallest magnification is 1.2, the biggest is about 4 if you combine two lenses. And you can leave your glasses on. This is a big plus for all who need glasses all the time. I never used the light because it is very weak. All in all, this is a good choice if you do not want to spend much money. Tool number three uses a similar concept. It also has lenses for both eyes, but the magnification factors are way bigger. They start at 10 times and go up to 25 times. This tool is more suited for watchmakers. For electronics work, it is not useful because you have to move your head and nose practically to the PCB. This is uncomfortable and dangerous because of the heat and the fumes of your soldering iron. Clearly a no-go for me. Tool number four became important when I started my YouTube channel. Then I needed the possibility to create photos and videos. This is why I purchased a USB microscope. You find the review on this device on my video number 23. At the beginning, I thought I also will use it to do soldering and assembly work, but discovered that the magnification lenses were more comfortable for these tasks. Especially the fact that you had to look into a monitor and your hands worked at a different location was not easy for my brains. But maybe this is just my problem. Also, the quite small working distance and the lack of three dimensional view was not very comfortable over time. But for the price it offers a good solution if you need a connection to your PC. Also here, do not look for high magnification factors. They are absolutely not necessary for our application. More important is a long working distance between the parts and the lens. And this brings us to tool number five. Financially, it is a big step from the first four tools to tool number five. Price-wise, a step in between exists in the range of about $250. But since I omitted this step, you need other sources to get the relevant information for these tools. Tool number five is an expensive binocular. In my case, even with a camera. Because I will do an own video about this device, 
I will just give you an overview. If you subscribe, you will be informed automatically when the video will be ready. Binoculars, in contrast to microscopes, have two lenses and offer three-dimensional view. As seen before, this is very important if you want to solder or to do assembly work. They also offer a lower magnification factor than microscopes. This makes them ideal for electronic works and you see them in many labs. Because they do not only have a simple lens system as the cheaper tools we saw before, the working distance is quite big. This is very comfortable. And because they have their own stand, you do not need to flap the lenses if you need to look at something else on your desk. Another advantage is the illumination. I use an LED ring which is quite bright and close to the working area. Because of you, dear viewers, I invested in a trinocular to mount a camera in addition to the stereo view. A small luxury is the variable magnification factor. This helps to avoid lens changes for most of the work. All these features add to a price of about $1000 which is 40 times more than the price of the second best tool, tool number two. But as you know, life is short. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.